my figure shit Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia and welcome to this week's layering video. I'm gonna get this video out to y'all early this time. It is six o'clock on the dot. I'm recording this video and I'm gonna try to edit it without falling asleep tonight because my body is so programmed to go to sleep at 10.30 that by 10.30 I'm like, mm. and normally that's the time I'm editing, but I gotta work tomorrow. So I need to get this video edited early, processed early, use Keely computer, and then have it all set and ready to go by the time I go to work in the morning. So yeah, we're just gonna jump right into it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so bedtime and gym set. I've been testing a scent out for um, bedtime, so I'm not gonna talk about that on this video. I'm just gonna act like that one doesn't count because I've been testing it this week but my other bedtime scent has been this coconut coffee body cream literally just the lotion I um I just been using the lotion for the scent really my gem scent for this week has been Ariana Grande cloud since I got a V Baccarat I was like I'm gonna wear cloud to the gym now because whatever um Monday's outfit was Let's hope I don't mess up this time and have to move my clips around. <laughs> so Monday's outfit was... This is Monday's outfit. Very much a lazy outfit. But look how thick your girl looks. These pants, I have. y'all have seen everything I have on right now. Um, my pants, I wish I could find these again for y'all. And I wish I could find these again for me. Because they fit me like a glove. Everything that I have on came from, well, this came, I don't know where I got that vest from. Pants and shirt came from Fashion Nova, shoes or Dillard's. I don't know where I got the vest from. Anyway, that was Monday's outfit, plain tan and black. Monday's combination, we started with hemp, pineapple, and I was gonna say mango, pineapple, sweet pineapple and honey melon um, lotion. Y'all know y'all can find this at Walmart and Ulta. And then we went in with Anarch. This is down below in my Amazon storefront. Super duper beautiful, fruity, cheap. This is like $20. When I tell you, every when I did the perfume exchange, I put this perfume in her box. Because I feel like everybody needs this perfume. This is such a girly girl pineapple-y fruity fragrance. The look at, and look at the bottle. The box is beautiful. This is the top that comes on it. Like everything about this is absolutely gorgeous and it's super duper fruity. So I mixed it and it mixed perfectly with J Lo's Live. So y'all know what J Lo Live smell like or you know what this smell like. Imagine this is like fruity on ten. Plus mixed with that pineapple hemp lotion. This smells so good, you guys. Like, super edible. But summertime fun at the same time. Real, real girly, but not immature. <laughs> All right. This was... Oh, let me show y'all my nails. So these are my nails. I got this nail design. This was inspired from... Um, I think I didn't show y'all my nails. I remember telling somebody this, but maybe it was in person. This... Oh, I think it was in my vlog. Anyway, y'all see this before my vlog, my vlog. So this design was by Cold Nails on Instagram. But on her um, design, this, the blue, where I have like the blue stripe there and the blue in here, hers was like a yellow, like a pineapple color. Like a yellow, no, it's more like a yellowish lime green color. And then her dots were not like mine are actual dots. Hers was like, she sent smash something to make like polka dot prints and because they were all different sizes different darkness levels like hers is a little different than mine but i was like i don't know how she did that and i didn't look it up to see how to do that so i just made mine polka dots like that in black and blue and then put the blue line where she had the green line her pink was matte i don't have a matte um top coat for gel so i just did gloss and then her middle nail was was her middle nail like this? I don't even remember. Maybe her middle nail was like this, so that's why I did it. I don't remember. This color right here, this pink color, or this clear pink color, I bought from Amazon. So if you guys want 
to know what this color is let me know and then I'll link it down below because it was literally like $5.99 and then of course this how like I said hers was the yellow green right there I really really love this set like it is super and then my thumb is pink also but this set is so cute this is um I did these last Saturday so this this past Saturday so these are a week old and look how good they look y'all like they look really really good to be a week old I'm just proud of my nails I'm proud of the nail journey that I have I'm proud of being able to do my own nails and not having to go spend however much gel sets cost now in the shops I'm just proud of myself for being able to do it so I can sit in there and I can change it however often I want to I can which I normally wait two weeks uh, before I have waited three weeks which I, I, it's therapeutic for me it's like and then I'm excited the fact that this is a service that I would have normally had to pay for in the past and now I can do it myself like that is exciting for me now if I can figure out how to lash myself and apply a wig <laughs> I'm gonna be cooking with grease all right anyways so Tuesday's outfit is this is Tuesday's outfit y'all have seen this outfit before as y'all notice I am now to the point that I am putting scarves on my head if you have been here long enough, you know, when I start putting these scarves across the front of my head like this, and then this one on this picture, that means my new growth is not going to be shown. And it's time for me to get the front get it redone. Y'all know, after, when I get my whole head done, I take the, um, when I go get it redone, I only take the front part, like the part that was braided down to my scalp. I only take that part down, get that redone, and leave the back. And then after this is old again, then I'll take the whole head down helped me grow my hair. I think I told y'all that in my vlog. So it helped me grow my hair. So that's why I'm refusing to take this down until she opens her books back up so that I can make an appointment because June is booked. So y'all gonna be seeing these scarves until probably the first week of July. Bear with me because it's only June 7th. Anyways, that was Tuesday's outfit. Oh yeah, if anybody that I watch is, if, if any of you guys that I watch are in so in the field of cybersecurity, let, let me know down in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram. If you like if you're in that field and you like me enough to DM me and say, Nadia, I'm in cybersecurity, <laughs> let your girl know. Alright, that was Tuesday's outfit. Tuesday's combination is ooh, where's my phone going? Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Um, started with bun number nine. Um, I was about to say Astro Place. This is not Astro Place. Bun number nine, Greenwich Village. I left my container out in the car. It was in my trunk, in my gym bag. And look, it started squeezing the top. Now the top won't come down like it should and stay. Oh, well. Greenwich Village. And then I put on all gables. I just feel like I'm so cool. I want to pull the table over here, but the easy thing would be to just shift my chair over. Let me do that. I always make stuff come. Hey, y'all. What's up? Look at that mark on the side of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dork. Okay. So, like I said, went in with, um, now I feel like we're off. Okay, we're going to get it. We're going to get it together. Alt Gables. Um, this is a dupe for Greenwich Village and then Quima also in my Amazon storefront okay I don't think I held the last one up but y'all know what it is the live actually okay this one live and and art all three are in my Amazon storefront it's a lot of right here that's in my Amazon storefront let's move it along Nadia smells really good I feel I've worn this combination on here for you guys before uh, so that one's not new let me show y'all something okay so Wednesday I was in the gym and there was this man in the gym and he had on these shoes right here but he had on some black the black and white ones I'm working out by myself so I'm not talking to anyone I looked at the shoe in my head I thought man those are so cute I bet they're really comfortable to work out in but how am I gonna find those because I don't know what the name of them are and I'm not going to ask you. I was like, oh, well. That was it. That was my thought. And I went on with my workout. Hour, hour and a half later, I'm at work scrolling on Facebook. 
And these are the first thing that pop up on my timeline when I get to work. Tell the women's version. And what's 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 going on? Huh? What are y'all doing? What is going on with the fact that I can think something? Don't say it out loud. Don't I did not say it out loud. I did not talk about it to anyone. I did not text it to you because I know if you text something to somebody, boom, there it is. And of course, if you talk about something to somebody, boom, there it is. If you make any kind of verbal or texting communication outward, boom, there it is. But the fact that I did not communicate this in no way, shape, or form other than having the thought in my head and looking at the shoe and then it is the first thing that pops up on my timeline from Nike. I don't ever go on Nike's website. Well, I'm not going to say ever. Maybe twice a year I will go on Nike's website randomly. If I see a cute shoe come across my thing or come online or something, I'll go to the website to try to find it. Something like that. Twice a year. Maybe. And that's not even consistent because I just, I don't buy gym shoes like that because I rewear my gym. The gym shoes I have, I have been wearing them gym shoes <laughs> since I started. The first year I started working out was in 2017. I went on a crazy spree. Look at me picking at my face. A crazy spree buying all these gym shoes. And I wear the same gym shoes now. January 2017 is when I bought all my gym shoes. This is 2024. I am still, am I bleeding? I'm still wearing the same shoes. That I work out in them. Anyways, but y'all, that's just crazy to me that that popped up. So it's the Nike Free Metcon 5 is the style shoe. And the women's pop Not only did the women's pop up, my favorite color is royal blue. And they are royal blue with a baby blue check. My growing growing up, my favorite color was baby blue. Of course, black is black and white is I feel like part of everybody's. But when you're talking about like colors, like these type, royal blue. And this shoe is royal blue and baby blue. Baby blue is my childhood and teenage favorite color. Y'all, this is just weird. I know a lot of y'all might think this is a coincidence, but come on. Of all the shoes, all the things that could have came across my timeline when I got on Facebook, the actual shoe in the women's version? That's just crazy to me. Okay, so if y'all have not seen, my cruise vlog is uploaded. This is the thumbnail for it. So this is what my hair looked like. I miss it. Go check this cruise vlog out. Look at me moving right along. <laughs> this was my outfit Wednesday. And I trashed this picture because I didn't like the way I looked on it and I was like okay I'll just take one when I get home I need to get to work and I never took another one when I got home so this was Wednesday's outfit I don't know I just looked like I was built funny right there <laughs> Wednesday's combination started with Carol's daughter um, almond cookie do y'all get tired of seeing these same body creams and stuff y'all I have so much lotion and body cream over there and I reach for the same ones all the time. And I think about it all the time. But it's like I cannot help it. So I really need to start reaching for different ones. So then I can utilize what I have. Especially now since I've purged my stuff. I need to use what I did keep. Almond cookie. Um, frappe body lotion. I hope the side of my face ain't bleeding. I don't think so. Because that skin came off like. Like it was hanging on by a thread. Then we went in with Latafa Yara. And we topped her with Givenchy Irresistible. <gasps> yes, ma'am, Pam. Y'all know where I get that from? <laughs> every time I say that, every, every time I say that, I feel like, Nadia, they, you're not, they don't, people probably think that's corny. They do not know why you keep saying that. I love Givenchy. And it took me forever to buy this. And y'all realize that still that girl, it gets better and better the older it gets. But this combination was so pretty. So, all right. Next on the docket, we have Thursday's Combination. Not Thursday's Combination, Thursday's Outfit. This is my outfit. Y'all have seen this before too. 
I have not been shopping. What can I say? But y'all said y'all still want to see my outfits. And some of y'all have not seen my outfits. And then I have new people that come on here. So hello to all of my new subscribers. I hope that you're so beyond happy here. <laughs> so that's why I still show y'all my outfits. Because there are people that are coming in. And I am praying to the Lord Jesus that they start coming in faster. But leave the negativity over there somewhere. Not over here. Cause I don't have time. Okay. But yeah, the outfit I got, I mean the jacket y'all know I got from the thrift store. Um, I was going to say Yara. This is Zara blazer. It was brand new. Still had the tag on it. Shirt, Walmart. Pants, Fashion Nova. Shoes, Marshalls. Y'all can't even really see them. There's some mules. Anyways, combination was, let's get into this combination y'all. Cause I was being fancy. <laughs> right. Combination started with necessary body lotion. I love this lotion. Okay. I don't remember y'all remember me talking about the sample that I had of this that I just went ahead and completely used up because I was going on my cruise and I didn't want it to dry out. So I completely used it up and I just I kept saying I'm not spending that money on that lotion. And like a couple of weeks ago, I was like, Nadia, just, just get the freaking lotion. Because I kept going to the, to visit it online. I would go on Sephora's app and just look at it and scroll and then get out and go back and look at it again. And I find, this is a fragrance-free lotion. So y'all know I have got to absolutely love this for me to be raving about it. About it. And it has no scent. And I still catch myself putting it on and smelling it. Baby, the scent is not going to appear. It is, it is fragrance-free. Fragrance free, Nadia. Okay. <laughs> but the way this lotion feels, oh, it is so moisturizing, but it's not, it's, it's so moisturizing, it's not sticky. It just lays on your skin. It glides and lays on your skin. It is so well. I like the fact that I can feel the moisture when I put it on and I, it's a continuous feel when I put it on. But when you're feeling it, touching it or touching other things, it does not give you a sticky feeling. Y'all know how some lotions and stuff that I have, I tell y'all all the time that when I put them on my body, you can kind of feel the stickiness to them, but I don't like them on my hands. So I'll go wash my hands after I put the lotion on and then of course now my hand is dry because I done washed off the lotion it was supposed to be warm. I don't get that from this. When I put this on, I go ahead and rub it, rub it in and leave it. On the other stuff, if I rub it in, I wash it off because I don't like the film that I feel like it leaves on my, on my hand. I don't get that from this. I absolutely love this lotion. Y'all know I love this lotion. I spent $30 on it. <laughs> and it's fragrance free. <laughs> A $30 unscented lotion. It's not heavy. It's just perfection. I, mean, I love it. You don't, when I tell you, you is moisturizing, you do not like, I can feel it. I can feel the moisture in my hands, but it's not sticky. There is something on me that I can smell and I feel like. <laughs> so we started the combo with Jimmy Choo, I Want You. We went in with my baby, y'all. I got a bigger bottle of her. We went in with Prada Candy. Okay, this went all over my body. But before I sprayed this all over my body, I should have did this a different way. Because I put my lotion on. Then after I put my lotion on, I put this body oil on my arms. When I say I put it on my arms, I mean I went on both of my arms and then I rubbed the oils up my arms and spread it scent out. This body oil is lick me all over. <laughs> and it comes from the hair store. I can smell it through the bottle. It is that strong. It comes from the hair store. Okay, so this is lick me all over. So this is what I smelled like strong. This is strong. You can strongly smell this on my arm. And then I Spray this all over my clothes and kind of let the mist hit my arms and then spray this all over me. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I smelled so freaking good yesterday. Oh my God. Leave me all over strong. One of my coworkers loved it. One of them did not. 
but the one that and it's weird because the neither one of them like strong scents but one of them really loved it and the other one didn't this is so potent it smells really good though okay then today we have this is what I got on right here. Got on my pantsuit. <laughs> I got on this red pantsuit. Um, the shirt is literally just a tank top that I got from like store and go for it. I don't even remember what, it called, what it's called, but it was like kind of like it's fashion. Is it? Yeah, it's fashion. like one of them kind of stores. Like that. I don't remember the name of it, but it's just a tan tank top, and then this red pantsuit that I got from Fashion Nova in my the same leopard shoes that a year they came from Dillard's. <coughs> So that's today's outfit. Today's combo, I went with something that I felt like was clean, summery, and I just made myself wear it because I never wear this perfume. Uh, <laughs> lotion was Lay Labo Another 13 is where we started. And then we went in with Machino Toy 2 and MFK's Aqua Media. Now y'all know. I be struggling with aqua media. Aqua media does not smell bad. It's just very, it's a clean citrusy scent. And it's the citrus, the zest that I'm not a fan of zest. And it is so strong, but I'm gonna wear it because I spent my money on it and I kept it because the bottle was pretty. And this one is not gonna get purged because of the price. I'm going to wear it and I'm going to suck it up since I want to be out here blind buying stuff. You're going to wear it. So these two, very clean, very fresh, very, but, but add the citrus zest to it because of this. I don't even really wear Toy 2 that much because it's kind of like a, it's not like the pretty perfumes that I normally like to wear, but I loved the bottle. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get that. Now, if I use it up, I won't ever buy it again because I really bought it because of the bottle. Now, if I found it somewhere cheap, like before COVID, I saw this in a three pack at Ross for like $20 and I walked right past it because I was just, I don't know why I was just in there randomly and I was like, oh, I don't know what that smells like. Oh, but the bottle is so cute. I should have just bought it because of the bottle in because it was like twenty, like twenty four ninety nine or something like that. It had the big one like this, um, another one a little smaller than this, and the lotion. But I probably would have given that away by now because I know I won't like wear, heavily wear that because I don't heavily wear the one that I have. But yeah, oh my hands feel so good. They sound dry, y'all, but they feel good. <laughs> I just have dry skin on my feet and my hands. Not my body too, but my body is really soft. But my skin just, it just needs some moisturizer. Okay, you guys. Shop verification code. Oh, get, get, get off of here. Oh, there is this show. I want to tell y'all this and then I'm going to let y'all go. There's this show on Netflix. I was late to the party. I don't know if y'all have heard about it. If y'all are late to the party like I was late to the party, don't be left out. There's a show on Netflix called Your Honor. Please go watch it so we can talk about it in the comments. If I did reactions to shows and stuff like that, this, that is one that I would want to do because I just need somebody that has seen it to talk about it with me because I want to talk about how freaking good it is. And the fact that, let me bust y'all's bubble and make y'all mad because I was mad too. It's not going to be a third season. It's two seasons, not going to be a third. I looked it up. They said it was not intended to even have a second season. So they definitely ain't doing a third. <sighs> but I need y'all to go binge that show this weekend. And then come tell me about it. Oh my God. It is so good. It's so good. But anyways, that is the end of this video. We're 28 minutes in. I love you guys. Two pieces. Before you leave, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in tomorrow's video. Bye. <laughs>